what is up guys it's so much welcome back we are going to look at the new legend today um they released two of them in the last update which i think was yesterday maybe not really sure that's one of them i haven't looked at anything on it but that's not the one i'm looking for jackson is the one we're gonna get today gonna pick him up for like 307 crystals brand new legend nothing about it uh, I'm waiting for the other one to hit the shop because I'm not going to spend thousands of crystals hoping to get it because I know you can spend hundreds of dollars and not even have a chance of getting it. So we're going to stick with Jackson because you can get him for 30% off. So 307 crystals, we automatically get him. And we're obviously going to go to AI again because last time I played for five and a half hours just a couple days ago and the lag was so terrible that it was unbearable and I haven't played since. That's why we've not seen any videos, but we're going to pick up Jackson, see what he does. Robo Fist shoots a robotic fist that deals damage and stuns the target. Murderous Roar, it's a passive that increases physical defense. Active increases surrounding allies, legends, movement speed and attack last for seven seconds. Siege Hammer is a passive. Normal attacks deal splash damage to nearby enemies. That's pretty cool. And active uh, battle cry, a fearsome battle cry that greatly increases physical attack. So this guy's all about increasing physical attack. He's got splash damage, increases physical defense, and he's got a stun. So you got three abilities that you can use and only one of them. See, we're gonna run with teleport, obviously just for this. And let's see what he's able to do. All right, and starting off, of course, I'm going to pick up a Robo Fist. That's the stun, obviously. So we're gonna use it first. And since this is AI, there's no contest on the buff. So we'll automatically go to level two and we'll go ahead and pick up uh, Murderous Roar. Now this has a passive and an active on it. That is something that you don't really see on abilities. So this has a passive that increases your physical defense and then turns around and when you activate it, it increases movement speed and attack speed for seven seconds that's really interesting so we have jewel at bottom i'll let jewel go bottom and i'll hang up here with dread the double stun it should be interesting uh it is ai i've not done ai in a while i don't know if anything's changed it's got a pretty decent range on that and let's see what kind of melee damage he's able to do the splash um we don't have that ability yet i believe i believe that's going to be siege hammer yeah that's siege hammer so we'll get a stun on him here increase our attack speed and nice we took him out and chaos claws the first on his recommended build let's take a look at his recommended build so what this build is going to do is give you some lifestyle attack speed movement speed you're going to slow them down with a little bit more attack speed and some other stuff from phoenix blades which the movement speed debuff is the only really useful thing off that you're going to get some crits from that physical attack and attack speed a little bit of defense uh with demon shield and demonic axe at the bottom just in case now let's go ahead and see if we can't take him out again i'm gonna get way ahead of him my movement speed's increased you see the little orange circle around dread so you can tell he's ooh ooh that's close that's very close that was almost too close for comfort all right let's go back and we'll be right back all right back in it that was a little close for comfort but hey all right, this, this is only an eight second cooldown. Let's get him in another stun and we take him out. And all right, we have the ultimate. What does the ultimate do? Bellows a loud roar, increases your attack by 80% and lasts for 25 seconds. Holy crap, 25 second increase on your attack. All right, let's pick up this movement speed. All right, this should be an instant death almost for a striker. As squishy as he is, Tusker, do you want to hang too? I mean, we're not really attacking really, really fast yet, but geez, the amount of damage he was able to put out just on Striker. Well, Striker is also a bit squishy, so that doesn't help the calls there. Pick that up and let's put it in. Let's see. First thing I would level up is possibly the splash damage if you're gonna farm, especially lane. Uh, I'd go with that for the fact of you can kill stuff faster. As you can see, he doesn't really have a lot of damage right now, especially the farm stuff. And we're missing somebody on bottom, so I'm going to drop bottom and pick up this stuff here. Use the buff, that way we can kill the stuff. Hopefully we can get some hits on on this tower before rolling gets back. We don't, but Jewel's coming in. 
We might have a little play here. I'm gonna stun him, use the ultimate. And he did too, and he died. Nice. All right, it's gonna give us time to push on the tower. I probably should have upgraded the uh, this right here. I'm gonna stay in, take the hits from the tower, and go ahead and kill it. Good thing, level five. Within three to five minutes of the game, you're able to dive towers without really any worry of dying, really. Uh, there's the Phoenix Blades right there. But that's gonna help slow them down if they're gonna run away from me. And let's go ahead and try to take out as much as we can. Spindle Cutter, more crits. And all right, we're gonna go ahead and get out. And I was gonna try to teleport away, but teleport did not go off the first time I hit it. So we're gonna go in here, I'm gonna take their farm. He did it again. But guess what, buddy? I got one too, and we got a jewel to back me up. So where are you going? Come on back, come back. This is gonna be close. I have no mana, I have no out, and he's using an ulti. Ooh, can we get away from him? All right, he ran. We're gonna hit the bush and we will teleport back and heal up. All right, taking the tower on the bottom out. So we'll go back top. See what we, oh, oh, come here, striker. Come here, boy. All right, we're gonna use everything we got. See if we can't take them all out. We're only level five, but geez, he's doing some crazy attack speed. Uh, currently, I didn't get a chance to look at it. I might be able to look at it and post edit and put a number up there for you, but wow. Double stun here. I'm out of mana again already though. Dread got him. And I'm going to get out before he's up. And here we go, power buff. Let's see if anybody chases on Dread. No, they don't, they go back. So we're gonna go back as well. And let's see if we can't take this top tower out. Currently we are four and O. Oh. Come on, Dread, don't run from it. Don't run from it, we got this. All right, wow, that last hit. Get a stun on him too. Both taken down and we're gonna take the tower too, nice. So this should wrap things up. We're gonna use that ability so we attack faster. Take the tower out. Jackson, I do have to say he's not bad for uh, taking towers down, especially with that eight second uh, timer on the physical attack. Now we're gonna get some more attack speed from the guardian gloves. And let's see what they got. We got Jewel in here already. See if Roland's got any. Nothing there. He runs, Striker, and you can see the splash damage, the little blue AOE area. Uh, he should have been stunned there. We'll try this again. You can see the AOEs, wow. All right, Striker caught me with a ultimate. So I'm going to have to go back and heal up. But we're up eight to three. I'm five and oh with three assists. And Crimson. Wow, you don't really see him using that very much. And a heal. So just continue to push this one lane. We can probably get the kills on it. We got the double stun in this lane, as, as do they. But they have the AOE stun, which coming from him, is quite annoying, but we had enough damage to take him out pretty quick with the double stun from Dread and Jackson. And let's just go ahead and get the life steal back. That way we don't have to worry about going back anymore. So we've got tier two on life steal. We're gonna go up top, see if we can't pull Roland back. And we have all three of them here. I'm gonna get away from that. But we're gonna catch Roland in this and just see how much damage he does. Roland's pretty tanky now. But he can't survive all three of them at once. Even though we're what, maybe a good two levels ahead of him, you cannot survive all three of them with this build. There's really no defense to it, especially with Striker in the back with that extra stun. All right, so, I mean, the build does work. We just got caught by a random Striker ultimate. And all right, ultimate time for you, buddy. Let's see how much you got. Wow, he's destroying Tusker. So he does the splash damage, you can see right there. Takes out minions pretty quick. We're gonna skip that. Let's go for the crit. Actually, yeah, let's go for the extra crit. 
And let's just farm up a little bit. He does destroy stuff for him pretty quick. Now levels uh, pretty much anybody level 12, 13, you should be taking out farms pretty quick. We got double stun on me. Time to get out. And let's regroup. Let's let Dread get back in. And as Dread has an ultimate that revives, I haven't really seen him use it very often. Uh, cooldown timer at tier three. You're looking at 45 seconds for the battle cry. And we're about to use it right here. That's the nice thing. I didn't even touch Striker and look how much damage it did to him. It took half of his health from the splash damage. That is amazing. Jackson might be a new fun legend to be playing. Not sure if he's going to be part of the meta uh, as that's been sticking to basically the same broken legends that everybody's been using over and over and over. But I don't want to stay in there. No. Dread, get out. Get out, Dread. See, I stunned him there. It didn't stun him. That's another part of the game that hasn't been fixed yet. If somebody's moving or teleporting, you still can't get stunned. And by the way, that did address that in the previous video, guys. So there is a link to a forum post where I put stuff out about that. And it's up, up. And I'll leave it in this one again, too, guys. Like I said in the last video, if we don't address this stuff, they're going to ignore it because they don't care. The game's out. They can release a legend or two every couple weeks. If you don't put your feedback in this game, it's just going to go to shit. So go to the post, leave your feedback. If you have it, please. Because if not, you're going to see continuous stuff that doesn't work properly. Ranked is out. It's not fair to everybody playing because of the metas that are able to be used. And it's just... It's, it's turning into a shit show, in my opinion. Nothing's being done to fix any of the stuff that we've continuously told them about. So please, if you would, go check out that post, leave your feedback on it, and hopefully they will eventually do something about it uh, in about a month or two. Uh, let's see how fast he can take down the giant. Ice Giant, he's not doing too bad. Let's pick him up with the attack speed, see if that helps out. It did a little bit. Uh, but I've seen him taken down a good bit faster. See which lane he goes for. Of course, we got Dread up here being 3v1. He's actually getting back, which is surprising. And let's pick up some more attack speed. And all right, he went bottom, so let's go. We're going to go bottom with him. I'm going to catch Roland out. And Roland's going to go down pretty quick. You're not going to get away from me, buddy. I'm going to teleport in after him. Got him with the stun. You seen the fist right there? And let's go back down here. We deployed super minions, so that means he's already at the base. GG, this is game over for them. And that is Jackson. We got the level 16 on him, basically full tier two, except for the boots. He does moderate damage. The splash damage is quite insane, especially if you have squishies. So that's gonna be pretty fun to play around with. Uh, if you have any questions about this legends, feel free to leave them in the comments below, guys. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I am Solash. You guys have a nice day.